increase in domestic homicides the last couple of years has victim advocates and law enforcement teaming up in St. Paul to work on further prevention. Fox News' Courtney Godfrey joining us now in the news and with more on this new partnership. Courtney? Randy, so far this year, St. Paul has seen two cases of domestic violence turn deadly, and community leaders are trying to prevent any more. But with a spike in domestic homicides the last couple of years, existing coordination efforts are being tested. And a warning here, some of the images you're about to see are graphic. Two weeks ago, Corinna Woodall's life was cut short, killed by her estranged husband during a Bible study at a family member's home. A tragic scenario that Christy James knows easily could have been her. It literally took everything out of me just to survive a day. She escaped her abuser in 2008 with first responders capturing these graphic photos of some of the physical harm she suffered. It was to a point like where he would lock me in a room, lock me in a closet for a couple of days. Like I didn't have phone. James considers herself lucky. In the last several years, St. Paul has seen an uptick in domestic homicides from four in 2018 to nine last year, representing a quarter of murders citywide. The difficulty that we're having is how do we identify those ahead of time? St. Paul police know not every victim is comfortable going to law enforcement, so their blueprint for safety plan links all levels of the criminal justice system with community advocates. I don't know that just law enforcement alone could do it. But with two deadly domestics already this year, police are turning to survivors like James to encourage victims to seek help so that Woodall's recent death might be the last. They have to dig down and believe in themselves and just reach out and they can get their lives back. They can feel like themselves again. There is help out there and it works. A powerful message from Christy there. Of the two domestic homicides that have occurred so far this year, police say they hadn't had any previous contact with the victims, so they weren't on their radar. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, help is available. We've put the number for the crisis hotline there on your screen. Randy? All right. Thank you, Gordy.